moving on this Tuesday morning so far? It's moving. You can see mostly green on the maps, but there are a couple of problems out there, including a closure on the Long Island Expressway eastbound. Out from exits 51 to 53, uh, we're going to take a live look at that. Where There was an accident that took place overnight involving a tractor trailer and a fire truck. So all lanes remain closed. You're going to need to stick with the south service road to get around it. Uh, no delays out there. Or the Northern State Parkway, that's also moving along nicely. And uh, we'll keep a close eye on this. Hopefully they'll get it reopened in time for the morning rush. Heading over to the Southern State Parkway, westbound. There is an accident out by the Cross Island and Belt Parkway. Uh, that's not really causing too much of a problem. Then there's construction northbound on the FDR from 79th Street to 96, so it's a slow ride there. And uh, you have some more road work on 95 northbound out by Baychester Avenue. So leave yourself just a little bit of extra time or take the hutch. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the fours. Okay, Lauren, thanks so much. Uh, 447 right now. Here's Lauren. Thanks, Chris. Good morning. If you are getting on the rails, all of that overnight track work wrapped up on the subways and and so far, so good for your major commuter rail lines. There were earlier delays for PATH, but that cleared out pretty quickly. So that's good news. Heading over to the ferries, uh, everything is expected to be running on its regular route and schedule today, with the exception of NYC Ferry. Uh, still no service at Sunset Park. Park, rather, Brooklyn Army Terminal, but there will be shuttle buses over to Bay Ridge uh, to pick up the ferry. If you're getting on the roads on 95 northbound, there are some delays because of road work from Baychester Avenue to Boston Road, but you could stick with the hutch if you'd like to avoid them. They're not that bad to begin with. And alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect citywide. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the fours. Three, but uh, it looks like they are in the process of clearing this accident that was involving a fire truck and a tractor trailer. Now, the tractor trailer was jackknifed. Looks like it's on a tow. So accident just came in. Uh, out by the Kew Gardens Interchange, so just after the Van Wyck Expressway there. And over on the New Jersey Turnpike southbound, coming off the outer ro roadway, there is an accident on the ramp to the Gothels Bridge, so uh, things are slowing down a little bit there. We'll take a quick live look outside at the Gowan. Don't forget to move your car. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect citywide. Also, don't forget to listen up. Watch our Insta story I hosted. It is a daily dose of news, weather, and things to do around the city. Just follow NBC New York on Instagram, tap on the four, and listen up. Posted every weekday morning morning at 7 a.m. Accident just cleared after the tolls inbound at the Holland Tunnel, but delays there at 25 minutes here. Uh, you can see it's really slow going. Over at the Lincoln Tunnel, there are about 15 to 20 at the George Washington Bridge, about 10 to 15 right now. And alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect citywide. We'll have more weather and traffic coming up on the 4th. Okay, Warren, thanks very much. Police are to ease out relatively quickly. Heading over to the Van Wyck Expressway, there's an accident northbound by to the Turnpike. The ramp to the Gothels Bridge from the outer roadway, there's an overturned truck with a debris spill there. So you can see delays are building quickly. Definitely avoid that as well. And then over at the Holland Tunnel, it's 30 minutes inbound right now, 20 minutes inbound at the Lincoln and at the George Washington Bridge. Don't forget to move your car today. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. And don't forget to listen up. Watch our Insta story I hosted. It is a daily dose of news.